रामाय राम भद्राय राम चंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथ हाय नाथ हाय सीता पते ए नम अयोध्या कांड चैप्टर नंबर एटी वन द नेशनल असेंबली वी आर नाउ इन द प्री चित्रकूट फेज ऑफ अयोध्या कांड सो दिस फेज स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद Bharata is saying no he is not going to take over the kingdom the kingdom belongs to lord rama and he bharata is going to go to the forest and entreat rama to return as the king of ayodhya and then we saw that the royal road was built in the previous chapter now one would imagine that the various tests that bharata had to undergo is all over not quiet So far Bharata got through the temptation that Kaiki put forward then he had to answer to mother Kaushalya then he had to tell publicly in front of the entire council that he is not the king Rama is the king so these were the three different times when he had to prove his loyalty to Lord Ram and one would think that that is enough but not so the fourth test that bharata has to go through is put forward by sage vashishta himself and this is a test that we will not recognize is as a test every single thing that bharata had to face till now was was disguised in the garb of being righteous was extremely sweet and so on and so forth and in this chapter we will see how even a small thing such as waking up in the morning can be a huge challenge and how we need to pass that test every single day and that is what valmiki is driving home at right now verse 1 tatah nandi mukhim ratrim bharatam sut magada तुष्टवूर्वाग विशेषज्ञ स्थवै मंगल संहिताय द सेंटली वशिष्ठ एंड द अदर बार्ड्स एंड पैनेजरिस्ट्स सॉ टू इट दैट द नांदी एंड अदर ऑस्पिशियस राइट्स प्रिपरेटरी टू अ किंग्स इंस्टॉलेशन वर गॉन थ्रू दैट नाइट जस्ट लेटिंग एवरीवन नो दैट नांदी मुख इज द नेम ऑफ अ सेरेमनी इन ऑनर एंड फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ डेड रिलेटिव्स and this is commonly observed on festive occasions to secure their blessings verse 2 suvarna kona abihata prana dad yam dundubi dadmu shankam cha shatasho vadyam cha uch avacha swaran at daybreak bards and minstrels heralds and pursuivants Panegyrists and chroniclers gathered in the king's antechamber discoursed sweet music vocal and instrumental and offered sweet praise and deft to Bharata the future king the huge drum that announced the watches of the night thundered out its deafening notes under the skillful and vigorous strokes of the golden sticks merrily blew the conches and other instruments high and low giving forth the various notes of the octaves verse 3 saturiya ghosha sumahan divyam apura yan eva bharatam shoka santaptam bhuya shokai arendrayat the mingled sounds spread far and wide and dealt another wound to the tortured heart of bharata in the beginning of ayodhya kand itself we know that the king wakes up to music after kaiki demanded the two boons king dashratha was so sad that when he heard music he immediately asked those people to stop because he could not bear it he could not bear to be the king any more because being the king means that he has to perform his kingly duty of being in the path of righteousness and that interfered with his father's duty and he just could not take it and therefore he just asks those people to stop singing 
he doesn't want to be the king anymore and we have seen all that in the first few chapters of ayodhya kant and now vashishta is acting as if bharata is the king and therefore he asks people to play that music but how does bharata react valmiki says that bharata was already shoka santaptam he was already in great grief and now this caused further shoka further grief arandyat bhuya caused further distress to the person who is already tormented with great grief we already know that he had just conducted the funeral rites of his father we know that he's feeling so sad that on his account his beloved brothers and sister in law are now in the forest we have already seen all that and bharata is completely tormented with grief this music that plays in the wee hours of the morning does not console him does not calm him down and not even for a fraction of a second does bharata think ah this music is so nice it's so wonderful that they are playing for me so that's why the moment bharata hears this music he is already plunged into deeper grief there is no point in his mind where this turns to be very pleasant so this is a very 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 subtle test to see if bharata feels that way that rama is a true king even in his unconscious or sleepy state so far bharata proclaimed loudly to kaiki that he is not going to be the king but that was done in private then he had to face the mother of the person who went off into the forest and over there he gives nearly 60 different types of sin that occurs to a person who conspired to send rama off into the forest and he says i did not do that mother please believe me and kaushalya relents and she understands that bharata had nothing to do with kaiki's nefarious plans then Bharata was put into another test can he stand on the same belief in public that's why in front of the national council bharata had to say that he is not going to be the king and rama is the king and so on and so forth now vashishta wants to test something does he believe the same thing when he is unconscious He said all these things to Kaiki to Kaushalya and to the National Council when he was fully awake but does he feel the same way when he is half asleep we will see bharata's reaction what does he say in verse 4 ततः प्रबुद्धो भरत तम घोषम समनिवर्त्य च नाहम राजा इति चापी उक्त्वा शत्रुघ्नम इदम अब्रवीत भारत स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम हिज बेड एंड क्राइड आउट दीज आर परफेक्ट फॉर हिज मैजेस्टी मिस्टेक मी नॉट फॉर हिम ऑल अनवर्दी एज आई एम स्टॉप ही टर्न टू शत्रुघ्न एंड सेड सो अ कपल ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ओवर हियर नाहम राजा आई एम नॉट द किंग that is what bharata thought i am not the king rama is the king i am not the king even at his very unconscious state bharata knew that he is not the proprietor rama is the proprietor bharata knew that he is not the king rama is the king and that level of deep affection for lord rama was not only there during the waking state it was also there in bharata during the sleeping state as well and bharata in his one sentence proved that he is completely loyal to lord rama in just that one phrase naham raja just saying that i am not the king 
just in that one phrase, Bharata proved his complete and utter loyalty and love to Lord Ram. Now we will see what he says to his brother Shatrugna in verse 5. Pashya Shatrugna Kaikeya Lokasya Apakrita Mahat Visarjya Mayi Dukhani Raja Dashrato Gatha Behold Shatrugna See you the extent of the evil and injustice wrought by Kaikei. Law and order have already begun to fail in this kingdom. His majesty sits in his mansion on high, leaving me to bear the varied burden of misery all alone. Verse 6 Tasya esha dharma rajasya dharma mula mahatmanaha paribrahmati rajasri the goddess of fortune and victory that watch over the destinies of the line of Ikshvaku had till now a smooth and happy time of it when the king on the throne installed his eldest son as heir apparent during his lifetime. Now the fair tradition has been violated and she wanders in doubt and distress like a vessel in the heart of the storm with no pilot or rudder to control it. So King Dasharatha was the righteous king and without him the boat is like a rudder moving hither and thither in water. It can also mean that the Dharma Mula, the foundation of law and religion in the Ikshvaku dynasty, was the fact that the oldest son gets the kingdom and all the other brothers serve the oldest son and so on and so forth. And now that the tradition has been lost, look at the state of Ayodhya. The prosperity and happiness of Ayodhya has completely gone. Because the Dharma Mula itself is not there. The foundation of law and religion in the prosperous kingdom of Ayodhya has been thwarted. And all because of Kaikeyi. Verse 7 Sohina su mahanatha sopi pravrajito vanam anaya dharmam utrijya matrame ragavas vayam. Rama, our Lord, our Master and our Protector has been banished from the kingdom contrary to the recognized traditions of our race. And now the guardian deity of this realm roams masterless. So who is Rama? Su Mahan Natha, the great Natha, the Lord, the Protector, the Master. The controller. Now that Rama has been banished to the forests by my mother. And this is the lament of Bharata. The fact that Rama is no longer there in the kingdom. Verse 8. Iti evam Bharatam prekshya vilapantam vichetanam kripanam ruruddha sarva sasvaram yoshita. Tada. As the prince thus gave voice to his bitter grief like one demented, the royal ladies and their women took it up and filled the palace with their piteous wails. So the emotion of one pure bhakta has the capacity to move a whole lot of bhaktas as well. Verse 9 Tatha tasmin vilapati vashishto raja dharmavit sabham ikshvaku natasya pravivesha mahayashaha. While Bharata was thus weeping, the illustrious sage Vashishta, conversant with royal traditions, entered the assembly hall of the lord of the ikshvakus. So Vashishta is satisfactorily convinced that Bharata is indeed thinking of Rama at all times and therefore now he makes his presence felt. Verse 10 
शात कुंभ मईम रम्याम मणिरत्न समाकुलाम सुधर्माम इव धर्मात्मा सगण प्रत्यपद्यत The righteous Vashishta, along with his disciples, reached the lovely golden assembly hall, inlaid with gems and precious stones, which resembled Sudharma, the council chamber of Indra. There are multiple places where Valmiki compares Ayodhya to Amaravati, King Dashratha to how Indra behaved with his subjects, and we see that the main council hall resembles Sudharma. All this is just to prove that Ayodhya was almost otherworldly. You know, it was so beautiful, and everyone was so just and so happy and pious and all that. Just as how things are in Svarga, verse eleven. So, Kantina Mayam Pitham Paradhya Astarana Avratam. अध्यास्त सर्व वेदज्ञो दूतान अनुशास The Maharishi of boundless wisdom, in whose profound heart the Vedas and the mysteries found a fitting abode, took his seat on a resplendent golden throne covered with rich brocade, and said to the attendants. So Vashishta is the highest priest. We have already seen that multiple times before, and therefore he is always given the topmost seat. And now, in the absence of a formal king, Vashishta is the one who is running the kingdom. Therefore, he has the right to talk to the messengers and ask them to go from here to there, and so on and so forth. Verse twelve. ब्राह्मणान क्षत्रियान वैश्यान अमात्यान गण वल्लभान क्षिप्रम आनयत अव्यग्रह कृत्यम आत्यायिक हिना Fetch quickly the Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, ministers, and army commanders at once. A matter of great urgency awaits us. Verse 13. सराजभृत्यम शत्रुघ्न भारत च यशस्वीनी युद्धाजिता सुमंत्र ये त्र हिता जना ब्रिंग शत्रुघ्न एंड हिज रॉयल अटेंडेंस दि इलास्ट्रियस प्रिंस भारत युद्धाजित सुमंत्र द चैरिटियर एंड दोज पीपल हू आर रॉयल वेल विशर्स देन इट इज अंडरस्टड That the vast hall resounded to the tumult of chariots and horses, elephants and palanquins that conveyed thither the hurrying crowds. Verse fifteen. Tatha Bharatam Ayantam Shatakratam Iva Amara Pratyanandan Prakritayo Yatha Dasharatam Tatha. Bharata made his entrance therein, and all rose to receive him, as they did in the time of Dasharatha, more like the celestials welcoming their lord and master, King Indra. Verse sixteen. Hridayva timinaga samvrata, stimita jalo mani shankar shakara ha, Dasharatha suta shobita sabha. स दशरथा इव बभावयतापुरा द स्पेशियस हॉल ग्लीम्ड लाइक अ लार्ज लेक ऑन द ओशन साइड सेंट वशिष्ठ वाज द डीप वाटर्स दैट रन स्मूथ देयरइन भारत एंड शत्रुघ्न वर द वेल्स एंड द माइटी एलिफेंट्स दैट डिस्पोर्टेड देम सो फियरलेसली इन इट्स डेप्थ्स The ministers and the generals were the gems and the shells and the sand hills that lined its floors. In short, it recalled the glorious times of King Dasharatha. So we know that King Dasharatha was a very able ruler. He was very well beloved by his people. That was one of the first descriptions of King Dasharatha that Valmiki makes in the first chapters of Balakand. And 
right now he points to the fact that everything looks exactly as if king dashratha himself were there people are paying their respects to bharata as they did to king dashratha and now everything is looking so beautiful but there is a difference and this is what valmiki wants us to realize Although Bharata is very capable of protecting the kingdom just as King Dashratha did till a few weeks ago Bharata is nonetheless not going to take over the kingdom because that kingdom belongs to Rama This is the reason why Valmiki compares the ideal behavior of Bharata to that of King Dashrath and yet Bharata even though he is completely capable of ruling the kingdom does not do so because he knows that that kingdom belongs to lord rama mangalam koshalendraya mahaniya gunapte chakravarti dhanurjaya sarvabhoomaya mangalam